when I do a facelift or blepharoplasty or rhinoplasty, we offer various uh, anesthetic options, particularly for a facelift and blepharoplasty. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the options, depending on how complex your surgery is, uh, to do it under uh, local anesthesia with some uh, sedation. Uh, that is for people that are having minimal work done. Um, they'll still be awake during the procedure, but they'll be comfortable enough uh, to tolerate uh, the limited amount of surgery that's going on. The next level is for patients that are going to have a standard lift or a rhinoplasty or a, a standard blepharoplasty and will be having the procedure done in a surgery center. The, in those patients, you can either have uh, the surgery performed under general anesthesia or you can have it performed under what's called twilight anesthesia, which is very similar to the type of anesthesia that you would have when you're undergoing a colonoscopy. If you're healthy enough to tolerate twilight anesthesia and if my anesthesiologist feels that you're a good candidate for twilight anesthesia, um, I'm happy to do these procedures under twilight anesthesia because I feel that patients recover much better from twilight anesthesia. They come out of it a little bit easier. It doesn't take uh, as big a toll on their bodies as general anesthesia does. Um, and a lot of patients prefer that. Um, because it doesn't, they just don't feel like the recovery is as hard or as bad uh, with a twilight anesthesia. So um, that is a, an option that's available to most of our patients, again, if our anesthesiologist feels that uh, the patient is a good candidate uh, for twilight anesthesia. A lot of uh, surgeons don't feel comfortable uh, operating under twilight anesthesia. I've done thousands of cases. Um, operating under twilight anesthesia. I work with uh, board certified anesthesiologists who feel extremely comfortable and have very significant experience using twilight anesthesia for uh, long cases. Um, so my patients really reap the benefits of that uh, combination of a qualified anesthesiologist and uh, the experts of the surgery.